Beautiful people, welcome to episode 92 in this format here of the Ignite Your Purpose vlog, blog, podcast. So wherever format you're listening to, we have been working hard to get it onto that format, John and I, which has been a beautiful thing. And in relationship to that, John and I today are going to be talking about what, Mr. Johnny? About patience or our lack of patience or our awareness of patience. And, and how, did come up, how did that come up for you today, John? Just because uh, just we've been, we've been just like I said, we've been trying to put this on all the audio files, all the this, all the that. So tell them, tell them where we're going here. It's, it's kind of holding our own feet to the fire because, you know, we, we sprout all of this learnings and knowledge from our own pasts and from thousands of years of Chinese, you know, Zen Buddhist traditions. And I woke up this morning and we've got, a freaking hundred shows, kind of almost, almost ready, but not quite ready to, to start um, streaming up to YouTube. And I just want to start. Right, we've got. I've got the first twenty done. I just want to start getting them delivered, and then maybe that'll create some traction and some connection across to. If you want to see our live show today, come over to YouTube. And I found myself being kind of really up, not really uptight, but a little bit. You know, Nancy. you know, up, I'm up in, up here and up here, you know, kind of really short of, um, short of the headspace and the mindfulness to kind of think about it. And I did think about it and I took some deep breaths. So I got down into the, uh, the belly breathing, which shuts off the fight and flight responses. And it's, it's okay to be excited about a project and it's okay to want to get things done. And if you decide to do that, then that's brilliant. But know why you choose to move forward now rather than waiting until whichever project has, has got all the pins lined up. Um, that's kind of what came up for me. I found myself being really uptight and impatient. And I thought through the process. And we may still decide to drop a couple of shows to see what happens <laughs> as a little experiment. I mean, might not. Because we haven't spoken about that yet, but um, that's what's coming up in my life. Yeah, you know, so we just don't talk it; we kind of do it as well. We, you know, you ha I mean, we're human, John. I mean, in this, you know, like I said, unless you are a monk, you know, up in the mountain cave, and somebody brings you a piece of rice every three days, I mean, you, we have to deal with the reality that's at hand. We are in the matrix. We are on the plantation. We I mean we are part of this. You and I have to pay bills. We have to. Work. So we, yeah, we, we live in this matrix, so we have to hold our feet to the fire. And what I said in rhetorically to John was, you know, and he just mentioned as well, but we're so, so early in our, our endeavors. Let's put where we are into perspective. Perspective. The yes. helicopter view. Let's look down on where we are. Totally. And that does not mean though. That does not mean, and this, this is where all these things that we always talk about come into, John. So if we were, if you and I thought, shit, we only have a week left. You see what I'm saying? So that's where, that's where we, we want to work harder. Um, for example, uh, Brian from London Rio, I noticed he's starting to kind of, or he's going to begin to do a, a live format, right? Like he's going to take questions from his, his, his community on Facebook and YouTube. Something John and I have now been doing for two full months, maybe three months. So we could almost say we're ahead of the game there or on par with the game, right, John? It's just we haven't – we didn't start in 2011 like Brian did, right? Yeah. Like he's been – we had to put that perspective in where we have six months. Somebody's also put in 10 years or eight years, right? Like so we want to – John and I are of the mentality we want to work harder to get there quicker. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If we want to hustle, that's fine. But – to know where our impatience comes from, right, is is a huge thing. And is it also a blessing and a curse? You know, can you use that impatience as a positive, John? Could you? Yeah, it lets us know that we are still driven about the pro – let's just say the project, this project, the Ignite Your Purpose podcast. I think it, it, it expresses the reality that we – it is still in our gut and it is driving us and it gives us purpose each day to get up, think about our lives, think about what context from our lives we can bring into a conversation, 
we we have a chat online. I think we both get great value from it, um, and so there are there are many many positives we can bring. Right. Of course, and it's us bringing our of ser- being of service and all that. And yeah, I want to work harder. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's in our. It, I know it's in your DNA. I know it's in my DNA. So, in page, oh, really? yes. And I, and I said this too. Like, um, you know, we're working on a, a new uh, logo for us, right? That takes time, you know. And John and I are very perfectionist oriented, but we're going to be like, you know what? This is ninety six percent perfect. Friggin' put it out yeah. instead of if- pausing. Okay, now it's you know it needs another two weeks. What do you think, John? Yeah, if, if, if Jobsy had waited for the, uh, the iPhone to be perfect, we still would not have it. You know, get, get, get whatever it is you want to deliver, get it most of the way there. It's pretty good. It's not perfect. And let the people decide. And then you will find your way through the path and veer left and veer right uh, as things come up. They, there's a phrase, it's one of my favorite army phrases from back in the day, and it says, uh, no plan survives first contact with the enemy. We can make the most incredible plan. And this is our five-year mission. And after yeah. three years, we'll, we'll have done this and done that. But on day one, if freaking somebody turns right instead of turning left, then you've got, to, you've got to start again. And your end goal is still the same, but you just take a different path to get there. So uh, Truth. Very um, true. Very true. And, and okay. you know, part of our plan for John and I also relied on you know, getting this logo done to release everything on uh, our audio format, right? So, uh, w- you know, that impatience right there where we're kind of waiting on, you know, somebody else to release, right? It builds anticipation, you know, so it's... Yeah, uh, but, but it is, and we, we may want this guy to, to do his job, but he's got life as well. He's got other clients, and so... It's gonna wait. It's gonna wait for the it's right a, time. It's a it's a teeter tottery game, man. And we have to uh, you have to balance. live in the yin and the yang, and it's a, it's a balance, right? So we're working on it every day as well, John. Okay. Um, I think that's about as uh, as much as we need to uh, to uh, spurt today. It's a beautiful uh, thing. Thanks very much for all of those who are listening, for those who are watching, for those guys that are my good friend JJ. Who uh, writing in, commenting in, asking us questions uh, in relation to to himself, but also uh, out, out to the wider his wider community as well. He's trying to uh, gather information so he can be best serving them. But uh, thank you all from me. Goodbye, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. We know you could be anywhere in the world, and you're rocking with us, and we damn well appreciate. It. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.